Are you a basic ass bitch? Are you tired of niggas swiping left on you on Tinder, bitch? Do you want a man in 2019? Yes or no? When you open up your front camera, do you get scared? Because you're like, bitch, wait a minute, I look a little bit rough. Well, baby, not to fear. Booty Demons is here. Is this God? No, bitch, I just said it was Booty Demons. I'm sorry, baby. I'm. It's Booty Demons. I'm your fairy godmother. I'm here to help you make all your bad bitch dreams come true. So just follow these steps and you'll go from looking like a bum to looking like this. Yes, queen, yes. This is how you catfish. This is how you catfish. So today I'm going to be showing you cats how to properly catfish somebody. So let's get into it. Hey girly! What's up? It's your girl Brandy and I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. Um, You guys know it's all fun and games with me. Y'all know on your worst day you are still that bitch. None of y'all are basic in my opinion. I love y'all so much. I just did that to be funny. You know it's all laughs and giggles with me. Um, Girl why my hair look fucked up in this video? Anyways how are y'all doing? What's up? What's goody? What's good? Um, Today's video is going to actually be a voiceover chit chat get ready with me because while I was filming this video I actually um, was not in the mood to talk at all, but now I'm in a very, very talkative mood. I have so much to tell you guys, so many amazing things to share with you guys. Um, and I wanted to do this in like a voiceover, like chit chat update video because why the fuck not? You know, YOLO, you only live once. Before I get started, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Here's my at, at Booty Demons. Um, and yeah. Okay, y'all, so if you don't have me on social media, first of all, you need to add me on social media, but if you don't have me on social media, you would probably not know that I was in Los Angeles this past weekend, bitch, like, let me insert some clips, let me insert some pics, like, it was very lit in the city, you know, Los Angeles, I love you, it was amazing, um, this was probably, like, the most productive trip that I've ever had, um, and I've been to Los Angeles maybe three or four times, but this was, like, this, this was it, like, this, I had such a great time, um, I honestly, Honestly, I was really I, I attempted to vlog but it really um it, it didn't really turn out how I wanted it to and like honestly so many things was going on like in real life time that I wasn't thinking about like picking up a camera and recording it and then also girl why my camera is having some technical difficulties so thank you Ashley for letting me use your camera for this video because girl the SD card messing up and stuff you know it was just it's just a mess honestly at this point but you know I did not lose faith I still filmed this video um anyways Los Angeles was amazing and we went there because I visited a school that I'm very very interested in and that I will be going into in July um it's called FITM uh, I've been keeping this under the wrap so I'm so excited to share this with you guys if you don't know what FITM stands for it's uh, short for Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising and I know you're probably thinking like oh bitch you're, you're into the fashion and I am but I am actually going to be going in as a beauty marketing and merchandising major I know I'm so I'm just like I'm so ecstatic about it and I've really been keeping this under wraps for so long because really the only point the gray area is the finances but you know what through Christ we can do anything. Am I right? I know I'm right. Anyway, so that's what I was doing in Los Angeles. Um, I was visiting FITM and uh, I met up with my advisor. Um, it was amazing. Everything was awesome. Had such a good time. It was just nice to get away. Can we just talk about that? It was nice to get away and be relaxed because now, bitch, classes have started. You know, the luxuriousness, the luxuriousness, it's faded a little bit. But, you know, I'm still on that L.A. state of mind. You got to keep that state of mind going because, you know, <laughs> my city, ATL, you're a little bit boring, sweetie. No offense. But, you know, it, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because L.A., I'm going to be, I'm going to be California. No sad party. Come on. California. No sad party. 
In the city of LA. Come on, y'all. In the city. Okay, what's up? But yeah, y'all, like, I had such a good time. Um, But like I said, the vlog, I really tried my best. But, you know, like, it really, I was living in the moment, baby. I was living in the moment. And let me just, let me just take this time. I just want to thank Jesus real quick. Let me thank God because I feel like, that trip was just so blessed by Jesus, like, from the start. Like, y'all, let me just tell y'all. Let me give y'all a rundown. So, the plane ride there. My stomach was tore up. Girl, it was gas. I had such horrible gas. Like, it was gas city up in that bitch. I don't know what was going on, but... It was just, my stomach was hurting so bad. I got this piercing pain in my abdomen area. And I just did not know what to do. And the nicest passenger who was sitting next to me gave me some, um, what is it called? Alka-Seltzer, bitch. And, bitch, I farted, you know, a little TMI. But I had to release the gas. And, girl, I felt so much better the rest of the flight. But, you know, from the beginning, it was a little bit rocky. But, you know, I got through it because of Jesus. Because, you know what we need to start doing, y'all? We need to start attracting. We need to start We need to start speaking what we want to attract. That's what I've been practicing. You guys should try it too. What do you want in this life right now? What is you wanting? Say what you want, like, and how you attract that into your life. And how you're going to attract the opportunities to get what you want. Because you're going to get what you want. Because Jesus said so, period. No tab bond. You know what I'm saying? So um, we just going to keep continue practicing that. So school has started for me. I'm going to get my associate's degree in this piece. You know what I'm saying? I'm very proud of myself for, you know, just sticking it to it. Girl, I'm taking accounting. <laughs> I'm taking philosophy. Like, I am being smart. And these classes are really, I'm, I'm going to be real. They, I'm scared a little bit about the difficulty, difficulty level. Excuse me, I can't speak English here. Difficulty level because I have a, an accounting class. Like, are you kidding me? But you know what? This is going to be everything because I'm so ready to be done with the school. Like, I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I'm ready to move on. I want to get on to bigger, better things. Fit em, bitch, I'm coming for you. I cannot wait for y'all to see my journey. Like, y'all have seen so much of my growth. And I just want to thank y'all right now. I'm thanking y'all and I'm thanking Jesus. Because y'all are seeing my growth. I'm going to continue to grow and prosper. Um, But, you know, um, I'm taking accounting. You know, I'm taking econ macro, I believe. And I'm taking some other classes. Oh, I'm taking quantum reasoning. And I'm taking another math class. I'm not really sure what other class. Yikes. Can't really remember. And I'm pretty sure. I'm honestly pretty sure I'm going to have to take some classes over the summer. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm just pretty sure I'm going to take them online. Because I'm I'm done going inside places. I'm sorry. Is it, is it just me? Or is it just like, I hate leaving the house? Like, do y'all hate leaving the house too? Like, I am such a homebody. Like... Period. Period. But I really wanted to film eating shows when I was out in LA, but I really did not get the opportunity to. But I am going back very, very soon. Very soon. And I'm going to take more advantage of the next trip I go on because I'm going to be there longer. And it's just going to be more fabulous. It's going to be more, you know, more less locally less touristy more more native more uh more local you know what I mean like very much very, very much that so how are y'all doing how are y'all doing honestly like comment down below how you doing how is the new year treating you um have you started any new year's resolutions I was actually talking to my sister earlier today about how I really am not into the New Year's resolution thing, honestly. And the reason being is that I just feel like every single day should be a new opportunity for you. You don't need a new year. You don't need you don't need that to set new goals, new opportunities, a new setting, a new life that you want to build for yourself. You don't need a new year necessarily to do that. And I feel like honestly, people just get too caught up in that. Like, and to the point where you get discouraged because you're comparing yourself to another person. 
who has maybe set the same goal as you and they maybe have done uh, gone farther further excuse me gone further in what you've wanted to do um than you and you know I just think it's dangerous and I'm not a big fan of it but I do I'm a big fan of setting goals year round so whatever you're doing you know, I'm rooting for you. Keep going. You know, stay focused. Cause this time of year, th this is when this is when we not getting focused, y'all. I know some of y'all watch this video. Y'all not focused. Get it to it. Something you procrastinating on. What is it? You're procrastinating on something. Because you know, I was procrastinating on editing this video. Like I'ma just be real, a hundred percent. I have been procrastinating. I have been so lazy. But I was just like, Ashley told me, my sister, she was like, girl, you need to just get into it. So here I am, putting my good energy into the, vi into, oh my God, I cannot speak right now. Oh my God. I'm putting my good energy, my good chakras into this video. Um, because I feel like it's really important to pass my good energy on. And I really, do, honestly, let me just be real. I didn't know how good my energy was. Like, until I just started, I noticed, like, all these amazing opportunities that are coming into fruition, you know. I just was like, damn, my energy is really hitting on some things, you know. And I think I'm going to do a video on energies. What do y'all think? Should I do a video on energies? I feel like that would be a good idea. I have been watching too much of, have y'all heard of Feel Good? I'm going to insert a picture of him right here or a clip or something like that. Typically have a large group of friends. They roll solo or with one person and they are the lone wolves. And the reason for this is that they incarnated on planet Earth with a very specific mission, which is to anchor more light into her body, into the planetary body. Um, so they don't want to be distracted or derailed by humans. And to them, humans can almost be like agents Smiths in the movie The Matrix, like they knew before they incarnated that there would be forces trying to prevent them from achieving this mission or fulfilling this task. So if ever you tell a starseed, I, I don't think you should be doing this, it's not a good idea, they will perceive it as like, you're underestimating my ability to work my magic. And they know they're magical. So they just want people to believe in them as much as they believe in themselves. And if they part ways with you, it's not personal. It's just that, again, they have a very specific task that requires focus and attention. So star seeds are very special. Y'all. He is that bitch. Like, he is my spiritual sister. Um, or my spiritual brother. Matt, I, I need to say that. He's my spiritual brother. But sometimes he be talking about something I don't really understand, like, all the way. But if y'all really trying to get, like, every time he says something, like, I can relate to it. Have y'all ever, like, followed somebody, like, like on Instagram? It could be, like, an inspirational speaker or something to you. And, like, every single thing. Every single thing that they say, like, you like, damn, like, that is so me. Like, every time he say something, that's what I be like. I be like, damn, like, is he a psychic or something? Like, is he an alien? Like, he is very just like, oh, my God, I love him. But sometimes he be talking about stuff I don't understand. Like, if you go on his page, like, I'm going to link his page down below. Like, please, like, let me know what y'all think. Because sometimes I be like, I'll be missing something. I'll be like, okay. What do you mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, if you don't know who Feel Good is, he is like a very spiritual self-help type of guy. I don't really know how to describe him. Like if you go on his page, you'll get what I mean. Um, but yeah, I've just been really into getting my energy up. And um, I, what I will say is this. Um, getting these opportunities and these experiences, like being able to go to this, the school of my dreams really helped me realize the power of manifestation and how you can really speak the life you want into existence. Like no matter what's in your face currently, like no matter what is in your face, like everything could be saying no to you right now. The cards could be saying no, but God is saying yes. Like that's what I really want everybody to realize God is saying yes. So do not give up no matter what your circumstances are. Like no matter what is in your face right now, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Doesn't mean that it's not there. Like things are really moving for you. I don't know what it is, but 
it's the, something is moving just like things are moving for me and I can't see them right now but it doesn't mean that it's not happening you know what I'm saying and I really want us all to just stay focused this year because they want us to not be focused they want us to not achieve our goals but you know what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna achieve these goals in 2019 we're gonna get some men and we're gonna get no we're gonna get some money you know what I'm saying F the man. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. But you know, not really. But you know what I'm saying? But listen, we finna get into the bag. Get into the bag fully. Put your whole body into the bag. That's what we're doing this year. 2019, we're not playing any games. We're not. And I just want to let y'all know, you know, I just want to give y'all a little bit of a life update, you know, about what's been going on with me, what I've been focused on. Continually, continuously, I've been feeling really, I've just been feeling blessed and grateful. And if you're going through something right now, I would just get a list down, write down 10 things that you're grateful for. Let me tell y'all 10 things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my mom, my dad, my sister. I'm grateful for being able to get an education. I'm grateful for you guys. Like, I'm grateful that I have a YouTube channel that I can, like, talk to people on. Like, this is so cool to me. I love it. I love I'm grateful for a computer. I'm grateful for the ice cream I just had. Y'all, this ice cream was delicious. Like, you know how easy it is to be grateful? Like, I would just write it down. Every single morning, you wake up and you write down positive things, positive affirmations. Like, like I said, I talk about this all the time. But, like... It, it really helps. Like, if you do it every single day, if you constantly exercise your right to be positive and to attract positive things, positive things are bound to come because God keeps his word. So keep the faith and, you know what I'm saying? Keep the faith. Okay, you guys. We, oh my God, I cannot believe we made it to the end of this video. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. It's very, very different from what I normally do. I want to start doing more voiceovers, actually. But, yes, let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!